How to make gasoline when the world has ended. Cars are rusting in the streets and the only thing moving fast is the thing hunting you. The gas stations, empty shells, the pumps, dry as your tongue. The tanks underground, either bone dry or guarded by the kind of guys who sharpen their smiles with broken glass. You still need fuel to run a generator, keep your getaway car wheezing, or just set something on fire so they know you're not worth the trouble. Solution? We're cooking up apocalypse gas. Start by grabbing any oil you can. Motor oil drained from a dead car, fryer grease from some abandoned diner, even rancid lamp oil if you're desperate. Pour it into something you can heat without it folding like a soda can in a campfire. Heat it slow. Too hot? Congrats, you made a bomb. Too cold? Congrats, you made soup no one's drinking. As the sludge boils, vapors rise. Run that vapor through a metal tube, coil, or honestly, whatever pipe-shaped junkyard treasure you find. Cool it down in water, dirt, or a bucket you swear didn't have rats in it five minutes ago. Drips come out the other end, a pale, nasty liquid that smells like road rage and migraines. That's your gasoline. Science bit? The heat cracks big oily molecules into smaller ones. Translation, trash oil in, flammable juice out. Primitive alchemy at its finest. If your engine coughs to life, congrats, you survived another night. If it doesn't, at least the explosion was spectacular enough to make the wasteland crack.